as you can see up here we have a bunch of them uh, I like to utilize a sort of a practice here where I try to place these small 100 nanofarad capacitors as close as I can to the individual power pins and then a little bit further away or at least as close as possible as the uh, layout uh, allows, I like to place my more bulky capacitance. And then we also have this little filter network up here. This filter network comes from the hardware design guide, which is probably the most useful resource you have when you're trying to design boards around MCUs. Most manufacturers will issue a hardware design guide for each of their MCUs. We should ba basically tell you a bunch of tips and tricks and things to think about, recommendations for your schematic and layout and so on. And if we jump over to the ESP's hardware design guide, we'll actually see uh, if we scroll down just a little bit to the suggested schematic here, we can actually see right here in the beginning that they do recommend that we uh, implement this little filter here uh, for, uh, for our uh, VDD free P3 pin. The reason for this is that this pin supplies power to the antenna and RF circuitry and can apparently get a little bit noisy. And again, we are trying to place our capacitors as close as possible to the ESP itself.